Hello world! So if you grab a toy box binary, such as the one off of the toy box website, make it executable, and then run it with no arguments, it lists the commands it knows how to be. So I can go echo hello world, and it'll do the thing. I can say uh, ls-l-color, and it will be ls. If I run toybox dash dash help for any of these commands, I can get help for sort. That one's kind of long and goes off the top of the screen. Echo is one that should stay on the screen. Um, you know, ls said is a really, really long one, for example. There's help for each command, and there's help for toybox itself. If I say help toybox or just help with no arguments, I get global help. Some of this is help for the Toybox multiplexer, that is the, that is the formal name of the Toybox command that just calls one of the other commands. It's a multiplexer because it can be any command. And some of it is global arguments that apply to pretty much anything. So up at the top here, Toybox can take dash dash long which, remember, if we run it with no arguments, it lists all the commands. Dash dash long lists all the commands with suggested install locations if you're going to do a conventional file system layout to create a change route. Dash dash help, we've gone over. Dash dash version tells you what version of Toybox you're using. If you feed it a command and any arguments to that command, it will Toybox will try to be that command. If the this bit down here, the file name dash means standard in and standard out. Uh, for example, if I echo hello to file name, so ls dash l, I now have two files. Woo! And I then say echo thingy, pipe that to the input of toybox dash and then file name does help to actually say cat. It will read everything it can from dash, from standard in, and when that's done it'll move on to the next file as cat always does and read the hello thing. So that is a global option available in pretty much every toy box command that can take file that operates on a list of files understands dash as one of those arguments and if you give it echo hello to toybox cat with no arguments, it will assume that there's one argument that is dash. It will just read from standard in. Dash dash stops argument parsing, which, for example, toybox, if I say echo dash n thingy, it will not put a new line there. But if I go echo and then I go dash dash, it treats the dash n as a normal argument. That's what dash dash is for. It is otherwise ignored, but stops further argument parsing. The numerical arguments accept a single letter suffix for kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and so on. Uh, an example of that would be the truncate command can shorten a file to a specific length with dash s, and if I say 1g and then give it, you know, that thingy that I just did, uh, uh, not thingy, it was uh, file name. If I give it file name, and then I ls dash l, it says that, oh, that's a really enormous file. However, if I do a du on the files in the current directory, it says that this one is taking 696 binary kilobytes, so multiples of 1024, and this one's only taking 4k, which is one disk block, because, well, there's only a little data at the start, and then it padded it with zeros, but as a sparse file, because I told it to change the size of the file, but didn't give it any data. That's a Linux file system thing. Uh, the other thing at the end there was durations can be decimal, decimal fractions and accept minute, hour, or day suffixes. So 0 0.1 minute is 6 seconds. So if I say time toy box sleep uh, 0 0.05 minutes, that should be 3 seconds, and 1, 2, 3, and time says it was 3 seconds. Uh, time is actually built into bash. There's also one built into toy box I could have used instead. 
If I want to install Toybox, the easy way to do it is to make a flat subdirectory and then copy Toybox into subdir slash, call it the normal short name Toybox. And then for i in run Toybox out of the current directory, do ln dash s Toybox that name done. Assuming I did that right, I now have a directory of all the symlinks to Toybox for all those names it knows how to be. And if I say yes, it will do the yes behavior. Yes is, you know, it, it repeatedly outputs its arguments over and over until killed, or if there are no arguments, the default argument is y. That's just historically that one's out of POSIX. So this is a simple installation of Toybox where all I have to do is I say path, uh, let me actually run a subshell for a moment. If I say path equals the current directory, and I'm pretty sure it's exported, but just export it. Now anything I run, if I go ls dash dash help out of the path, notice that's the toy box ls, and only the commands that are in there. If I say like git or something, well there isn't a git in toy box, there was in the previous path, but this is literally only running commands out of toy box or the ones built into the shell I'm running, which the help command uh, built into the shell will list those. Bash. Uh, there is a help command in Toybox, but you usually have to say Toybox help if you're not running the Toybox shell in order to do that. And that's just going to give you the dash dash help for the thing, so help ls. It's all, the, it's all pulling from the same source of help information. The reason for having run a bash subshell is that I can exit out of it, and now I have my path back.